Today I'm going to do another Arabic inspired makeup tutorial. Now this one is going to be a bit more colorful than the, than the other ones I've done. The other ones I've done have kind of been more on the darker black side. So this one's going to be kind of more on the colorful side because I thought it'd be great for summer. So you could of course tone this um, down a bit by wearing nude lips but I just wanted to go for the whole shebang and just go really dramatic on the eye and dramatic on the lips. So I hope you enjoy this look and keep watching. Before starting, I applied Urban Decay Primer Potion to my entire eye area. This serves as a long-lasting base which will also help the eyeshadow to adhere. Then with the MAC 219 pencil brush, I'm picking up a lime green eyeshadow from the NYX Serengeti Trio and applying it to the inner part of my lid. With the MAC 239 brush, I'm now applying Ben Nye Turquoise Eyeshadow, a beautiful blue teal color. By packing the color on with a flat shading brush, I'm helping to eliminate fallout. I applied it to the middle of my lid and blended outwards, gently blending with the lime green. A piece of sticky tape applied at the edge of my outer eye in a slightly angular line will help to create a sharp outer edge, which is perfect for Arab cat eye makeup. I'm using a slightly pointed crease brush, in this case the limited edition MAC 226, to apply a blue toned purple eyeshadow into the crease, working from the outside inwards. The eyeshadow I have chosen here is Makeup Forever number 92, one of my all time favorites. I'm creating a smooth arc shape in the crease, pulling the purple eyeshadow inwards. This will create a very dramatic effect. Make sure to connect the color on the crease with the base of your eyelid. This is known as the outer V. I am now using a slightly fluffy but resilient dome shaped brush, in this case the MAC 217, to blend out and soften the top of the arc that I created with the purple color. You may wish to blend and apply more color as you work. You might find that blending is an ongoing process. However, don't over blend as this will diminish the vibrancy of the colors you have applied. Now it's time to highlight. I have chosen MAC Vellum eyeshadow. It's a duochrome eyeshadow that looks white in the pan but reflects a beautiful violet shade. Apply this color just below the highest point of your eyebrow and blend. At this point I removed the sticky tape and began working on my lower eyelid. Once again using the MAC 219 pencil brush, I applied the same colors on the lower lid working from the inner tear duct area outwards. The colors I used in order are the lime green from the NYX, Ben Nye Turquoise and Makeup Forever number 92 on the outer corner. Alright, here comes a slightly tricky part, the eyeliner. Arabic eyeliner has a very particular shape, is very precisely applied and usually has very sharp pointed ends. 
I am using a generic brand of black gel eyeliner. However, some other brands you can check out are MAC Fluid Line, Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner, or L'Oreal Hip for a more budget-friendly version. In this video I am also using the Ella Mask eyelining brush, but you can even use an artist brush from the art supply store. This process is essentially just a matter of practice until you get it right. Beginners might find this step frustrating at first, but just remember, practice does make perfect. Here are some tips that you might find helpful. Use a magnifying mirror so that you can see close up what you are doing. Have good quality lighting and balance your arm on a table. You can also steady your hand by using a finger or two to balance against your cheekbones. Once you're happy with the shape you have achieved, in this case I created a sharp point on the inner and outer corners, make sure to fill in your waterline as well. You can use the gel eyeliner again or a Kayal pencil if you have very sensitive eyes. I filled in my eyebrows using MAC spiked eyebrow pencil, then blended it out with an angled brush. <music> Lastly, I added a black eyeshadow on top to darken my brows, then set them in place with clear mascara. To clean up any fallout underneath your eyes, I first used a cosmetic wipe just below and then reapplied a bit of concealer using a foundation brush. L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black to define my lashes and create a dramatic and luscious look. 
You can also apply false eyelashes for that extra kick. Moving on to the rest of my face, I applied a pretty cool toned bright pink blush to my cheeks. Here I have selected La Femme Champagne Lilac. I applied my foundation in this tutorial prior to filming. I highlighted the tops of my cheekbones with a shimmering powder. Here I have chosen MAC Champagne Mineral Skin Finish. I lined and filled in my lips with MAC Beat Lip Liner, then followed with a coat of MAC Show Orchid Lipstick, a bright hot pink shade. After one coat I blotted, then applied a second coat with NYX Pandora Lipstick. Finally, I topped this with a pink purple lip gloss. Here I have used one from Margaret Astor. This may seem like a lot of products, but blotting in between layers removes much of the excess. And we're finished! I hope you have enjoyed my colorful exotic look. Try it out! I'm sure you'll turn heads.